Hello. Good morning. Hi. How are you doing? If you're taking the class in the morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure which time I'm taking a class. I wish I could be there with you now, but at least I'm with you with this lesson. Uh, today we are going to talk about something else, and we are going to talk about male reproductive system. A male reproductive system. If you talk of male reproductive system, it is made of several parts. As you can see uh, in the background, you have. Uh, there's a penis, the testicles, ejaculate ducti or sperm ducti, semen vasco, or uh, bulbo, bulbo urethro gland, uh, vast difference, uh, the urinary bladder is over here, prostate gland is over here, which is, we also call tesidume, isn't it? Urethra is over here, uh, and if you cut the transaction, cross section of it, it looks like more of like that. You have the erectile tissue, two over here, and the urethra will uh, uh, work, uh, go through there, which makes a penis. <coughs> and this is the male uh, reproductive system from the testicle and the epididymis. All together makes the male reproductive system. Now, this class will talk more of male reproductive system, structure of the sperm, and the function and um, at least that is more of what you are going to cover so move with me one of the uh, cool brief and straightforward class now male are usually having testicles now the testes produce two to three to four million spans per day every day they're usually hanging out of the body for temperature regulation uh, the production and best keeping of the the sperm is usually done with two uh, two degrees centigrade below body temperature one or two de degrees centigrade below body temperature and with this kind of fluctuation the, the testicles are out there and that's why men should not wear tight pants or tight clothes sleep with tight clothes because they need uh, the, the the body to adjust itself uh, temperature regulation uh, a man should not put on a tight a pant which is holding everything tight to the body at least uh, something uh, like that should be left for the ladies who do not need to have temperature regulation from out there but rather um, men have that challenge more but uh, <coughs> on top of that uh, this let, let's let's check on this part. The, the the sperms are usually made from the testicle over here, and uh, temporarily kept we kept in the epididymis, but they will travel from here using the vast difference from here, going up there, and then join over here, and follows, then out there. We talk of vast, vast difference. This is a sperm duct or stem uh, the tube for. That is, uh, is a tube which sperm travel through. The vast, um, with vast difference, uh, this is the, the this this is the tube, which uh, if a, a man opt for family planning method, which is a permanent method of cutting uh, or male sterilization, the 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 procedure is called vasectomy. If uh, one is going for that as a family planning. It's one of the family planning method that a man may use to, uh, which uh, may use to control uh, impregnating uh, as as part of family planning. This involves cutting and tying the tube. This is uh, the vast difference, and um, by doing so, the sperm can't get out, and the man can never be able to fertilize. An ovum or an egg of a, of any woman in any sexual act. This man can still be able to participate in an sexual act because sexual act does not only involve uh, only sperms. In any ejaculation, there will be always uh, semen. Semen is made up of of sperm, the fluid from uh, the uh, from other glands, and together that's what makes uh, the semen in any ejaculation 
So a man who has uh, chosen to have uh, vasectomy as a way of family planning definitely can be able still to be a participant in a sexual act but cannot be able to father any woman uh, or to father any child thereon. But uh, moving on uh, with a uh, difference. What is a semen? Uh, semen contains uh, millions of sperms. The sperm, uh, it, it has uh, the millions of sperms, it has uh, sperm food, it has pH buffer. When we talk of pH buffer, it could be possible that uh, uh, the, the medium which travel the sperm is also the, the same medium that uh, the urine was flowing in the same channel. And uh, so the, the, the buffer something that neutralizes the acidity or changes the pH into uh, more of normal uh, range for the sperm survival. You know, uh, the semen allows the sperm to survive for a couple of days inside the female's body, which is technically a hostile environment. And uh, uh, what is the sperm? Is it a little man? <laughs> you know, in the past, people thought that uh, in any conjugal act between a man and a woman, there was a little man which traveled from one person to the woman. And that was understanding of people back then. So many times, a very long time ago. Uh, now, excuse me, long time, people thought... Uh, it was a little man when uh, a little human being which crossed from one from a father to mother and then the mother was only uh, helping the growth but it is now well understood that sperm has a different structure than a complete man so in any conjugal act we expect that a woman will contribute and a man will contribute and the child has as uh, both genetic makeup of a father and a mother. And you are one person who is one copy, the one and only original copy of yourself. There has never been like you, there is no one like you, and there will be never like you. So you can thank God for that. And uh, now, can, let's check the structure of the sperm. If you check out the structure of the sperm, there's a head, there's a midpiece, and there's a tail. Uh, so let me turn this the other way around. <coughs> so here is the head, which has uh, the nucleus, the acrosome, which helps. The acrosome usually is the greater the, the, uh, the, the wax or the, the membrane of, of an egg so that it can be able to penetrate. The, he the, egg, uh, the head usually carries the nucleus, which is ge the, the genetic makeup of, of uh, material of uh, that sperm. The central uh, is there. There's a neck over here. The midpiece has mitochondria, which is a powerhouse, uh, which provide energy for the, the sperm. And then we have, uh, there's uh, a tail the whole of this is a tail which helps for movement it's a flagella <coughs> now if we check off the part of the sperm the head contains chemical uh, has chemical to dissolve the egg and also the head carries the dad the father's uh, uh, or dad's genetic information or dna then the mitochondria provide energy for the sperm movement and the tail uh, facilitate locomotion for sperm swimming now if we check here if you check here here is the structure of the sperm here is enlarged only the head so let's talk about the head you can see if the sperm is like that now zooming it out, look, it's, it's more of like this one. The head has a, 
a chemical that dissolves the egg works <coughs> the head uh, usually have uh, genetic makeup makeup uh, and the head also has uh, the chemical that dissolves the egg uh, uh, membrane to make it sure that uh, the, the the genetic makeup can or the sperm can be able to, uh, to penetrate its nucleus into the ovum but um, that is the egg uh, follow the egg following the egg is the middle piece the mid piece is has mitochondria if this is a, the sperm the mid piece is somewhere here and you find that it has uh, it is the powerhouse that it give energy for this sperm working then the third part is the tail the tail is more of like that which helps locomotion of the sperm now as i am winding up Let's check different glands that exist in the uh, male reproductive system. We have uh, uh, <coughs> the, the prostate gland, it is over here. This usually adds, uh, uh, adds to non-sperm stuff in a semen. It, has, it is the one that gives buffers. It is the one that uh, prov provides nourishment. The uh, prostate gland is located just around here over here uh, um, uh, close to seminovascular and uh, that's the prostate gland prostate gland in Swahili they call it tezidume uh, tezidume is not testicle tezidume is the prostate gland and there, there, there are cases that uh, there are cases that uh, cancer usually uh, has been a case to so many people for, uh, as related to prostate gland and um, this is because uh, this is because uh, the cancer usually grows slowly and that's why it becomes common for people who are more elderly than the young ones it is so vital that a man should be checking uh, uh, for potential prostate cancer uh, so that the intervention can be so thought as early as possible but this is common when one is already over 45 years and above uh, I don't expect that you're, you're going to check, take your, your young boys of 3 years to go check for prostate cancer but uh, as a clinical routine it is healthier to check over time from time to time Okay, the other th um, gland is a uh, urethral gland. This usually adds lubricants and aids the travel of the semen through the urethra. This gland is somewhere over here. And um, reaching there, I am done with the male reproductive system. Uh, there are no, not, not so many hormones. We have testosterone, that is the hormone for men, while in female there are more hormones that uh, do exist. In lesson number 10, we are going to talk about conception and fertilization. So, see you there. Elisha Desloma is my name, and I'll love to see you in the next coming class. Thank you. May God bless you.